Martin, you reached the magical 40 point mark on Saturday. Can you tell us now the targets for the remaining games of the season for you? I think if you say magical, you probably stretch your imagination a bit because I feel that it is not magical, but for us, it's important to stay in this league. And of course, we are good enough to stay in this league. So people will say, what is he on about? But a lot of clubs would like to change with us now because big clubs, you know, if you look at Newcastle, Sunderland, uh, even Aston Villa, big club, you know, they are fighting for their lives. So that is why we always know and knew that we needed 40 points to stay in the league. But I will tell you one thing, if Wigan will win their games in hand, they will have uh, 37 points. So it's not over yet, but uh, things look bright. So that is the only thing I mean. But of course, last year we had the same. I think it was good to have, uh, say, 39 points in the say first week of April. Now we tried, we tried to get um, the results to get higher in the league because I would love to be in the top ten again, and of course the fans would love to see us in the top ten again. But we've got uh, Everton, we've got Arsenal, we've got Chelsea, uh, Swansea away last game, Reading at home. So we've got a quite a, a heavy program, you know. So uh, it's exciting, but I hope that we will have. Uh, 50 points at the end. With that difficult run-in, how important has the league form been since that turn in fortunes at the beginning of the year that has put you in this position of, of 40 points now, being able to look up the table rather than down? It's the, probably the strongest league in the world because if you look at us, before the Spurs game, you know, uh, we knew that a result will help us, but we always focused on the game against QPR. So it helped us big time to be on 36 points. Can you imagine not to win that Spurs game? You know, we still were struggling a bit. So uh, we do well because if you look at us uh, months ago, I think Swansea was 10 points above us. Stoke, uh, you know, uh, I think nine or 10 points above us. So to be one point below Swansea is a big achievement. So I'm very happy. And of course, it's a normal thing. We, had a meeting yesterday and we spoke about it and we said, you know, we should be happy, you know, we should be satisfied that we reached what we wanted to achieve. And the first target was to be on 40 points and uh, we are. So now we have to uh, kick on and try to make it a very good season. You had a very different midfield on Saturday and then obviously had to make an even further allowance when Damien Duff was injured so early on. How is he and how do you think things will shape up for tomorrow evening's derby? We feel that we had to change our midfield all the time. It's not about the two, it's about the four in midfield, you know, plus the one who plays in the hole. Bayern Ruiz, for example, we had to change a different role. Berbatov, uh, he's got to play a different role sometimes. And of course, he's a number nine, but then I play him as a number ten, it's different. On the left, we had different players. Uh, uh, Villa, for example, you were playing, it was ten minutes. Then Damien was injured. Damien's never injured, so I had to take him off. Uh, things look bad, but now after a scan, I think it's better than we expected. So hopefully, hopefully, he could join us uh, against Arsenal, but it's 50-50, but it looks better than we thought. So uh, you're right, in midfield, Eno played, Frimpong played, uh, George Okaragunas, who was not a regular start of the season, came in, and I think he brought, you know, he brought us a, a lot, you know, we started to play. And of course, he's a bit older, but he plays with his heart. Sometimes I take him off and he's not happy about it. But I think he was a very important player for us. But yeah, we had to change it a lot of times. And that is probably not what we what you would call a settled midfield. But as long as we, pl we played with um, George Okaragunas and Sitwell, we had Damien Duffers on the left, that was different. Ashkan Dejaga on the right. And we picked up the results and that was needed in hindsight. You know, we needed all these points. and. And so we did well over the last couple of weeks. We had to change it again. Sitwell is out, still suspended. Uh, Damien can't play, Ashkan can't play. So we have to change it. But we will try to uh, attack them tomorrow. We will come up with something, you know, that uh, although we miss these players, good players, um, key players, we will come up with, uh, with a, a lineup who hopefully can cause them problems. And I think we, uh, we, we, we will try anything to get the three points. Even without very much football, Aino has looked a very good combination with Giorgio in that position. 
Uh, Eno probably played in the same style as Sitwell. Sitwell, of course, is a bit more offensive, but we need him in midfield, you know, to be strong, uh, to try to do something off the ball. And, uh, of course, on the ball, they are good. So, uh, I knew Eno, uh, he didn't play a lot of matches, of course. Um, he came here, I told him, you have to play in the reserves, you have to get fit, because that is the main thing. In this Premier League, Barclays Premier League, you have to be fit. And if you are fit, you will play a role for us. And that is exactly what he did, you know. Uh, a little step back against Newcastle when I had to take him off because of that injury, but he wanted to play. Uh, he wants to play in England, so uh, he played uh, for us against Aston Villa. And I think he did ever so well to play more than 90 minutes. And just finally, a word on how important tomorrow night is A, for the fans, and B, to get past the 40 points and to really push on, hopefully, to cement that top 10 position for the end of the season? No, of course you don't want to uh, put yourself under pressure, but uh, I feel it's a big game. Maybe you can remember the QPR game, that atmosphere, that was exactly what we wanted, you know, when, when all the players and the whole staff, we, you know, it was a different atmosphere, to be honest, and hopefully Chelsea. Chelsea is probably in our area, you know, Fulham area, so they're our yeah, of course they are a bit bigger now because they've got all the money in the world but we would love to have a result against them and I think 100% certain that our fans will uh, be behind us so if we can create the same at atmosphere as we had against QPR it will be uh, an evening to look forward to. We wish you luck. Okay.